the equivalent on the resistor for the uh, device. And uh, then we, we said that um, to find the effective on resistance, it depends which device is on. And if my VN goes low to high, this means that the NMOS is on and I need to find the NMOS resistor. And at the same time, if my input goes high to low, uh, then I need to find the effective resistance of the P device. Okay. Hala, Ajan Hakina and Anna RC delay model. And we said that we can either approximate it as the average of a complex equation or uh, we use the unified current model at the two time points and find the resistor as the average resistance at these two time points. And if I have T1 and I have Vn and V out at each one of these times, and I have, for example, IN at each one of these time points, then I can approximate R1 approximately to be V out over IN. If the NMOS is the resistor, uh, is the current that is pulling down the capacitor, and if it is the on device, this is when I'm solving for TP high to low. Okay, so we can either do that or we can directly use I and one, okay, and then find the R effective, or we can use I and one and find I average, okay, I and one and I and two and find I average and then find C delta V over I average as we will see or as we saw last time. So this, okay, so. هلا في عنا شيء اسمه the approximate table method. The approximate table method is very similar to what we have studied before. Before we said Rn for when the width is one micron. Let us say it is equal to one k. Then if I tell you when the width is ten micron, you will tell me that my Rn prime is really one k over ten micron. Okay, so my Rn prime is 1k over 10 micron, and when my width grows up, the resistance will go down. And if you recall before, we had said that really resistance is rho L over A, and when I had a wire, okay, with width W and height H and length L, okay, we said that this is equal rho L, and the current is flowing in this direction, over h times w and we said we're going to summarize this by r squared times l over w following this conception or this methodology what the designers typically say they say that the resistance for a unit transistor for a unit transistor unit sized transistor Okay, the resistance for the unit size the transistor. يعني لما ال L على W equal to one. Okay, the resistance R square is equal, let us say, to one kilo ohm. Okay, so therefore, if somebody tells me that given my transistor has W by L equals to two. What I automatically do, I would say that R is equal R squared times L over W, which is equal to R squared times one over two. Okay, so in this case, it is one kilo ohm times half. Okay, so it is really equivalent, and let me clear this page so that I write it uh, much clearly. So we said that starting by the fact that R is equal to rho over H, times L over W, which is R squared times L over W. Typically, for the unit-sized transistor, I have R squared when L over W equal to 1. Okay, and R squared is going to be equal to, let us say, 1 kilo ohm. Then, if somebody tells me for the transistor uh, T, uh, M1, for example, W over L of M1 is equal to 2. Automatically, I will say R of M1 is equal to R squared times L over W of M1, which is equal to R squared 1 kilo ohm times L over W of M1 is half. And this is really equal 1 kilo ohm over W by L M1. And here, we're dividing by the W by L, 
اوكي اوف ذا ترانزستور لانه نحن عم نعطيكم الريزيستنس فور ا يونت سايز ديفايس يلي عندها ال اوفر دبليو از ايكوال تو اوكي ذاتس ذا اونلي ديفرنس فاذا انا بضرب الار سكويرد بال ال على دبليو للديفايس وطبعا حيكون عندي للان موس وللبي موس سبرت ار سكوير 1 اند ار سكوير 2 لانه هن عندهم ديفرنت ريزيستنسز اوكي Anybody has any questions? So technically, I'm not sum the W by L ratio. And who I'm telling you, I'm going to W by L ratio equal one. Okay. Okay. So let me keep this and duplicate it. Okay. Like now, hello. Let's see what the slide continues to tell me. So the slide here is telling me that if I am given that for a unit size and most transistor, I test twelve point five kilo ohm in R square, or thirty kilo ohm in unit size P most transistor. We're going to use it on the next slide. So for me, any R n now will be R square over W by L. Okay, and for any R P, it will be R squared over W by L P. In he can in the previous slide had a value twelve point five or thirty given to me, so this will be twelve point five over this quantity, and this will be thirty k over this quantity. Okay, now the equivalent on resistance therefore is inversely proportional to W by L as we have seen before. When we did fixing W, L on resistance decreases as W increases. When we did fixing L, L in the way if it is on resistance decreases as W increases. The wider the transistor is, the less resistance it is going to have. Hello. So how we calculate the RC model? The delay using the RC model. I'm going to look at the RN for the on device. I'm going to look at 0.69 RC in the high to low. I'm going to look at 0.69 RPC in the low to high. Now we're going to go back to them because we're going to look at a holistic delay model. From this holistic delay model, we're going to work with sizing the transistor inverter. So if the TP is high to low, when the output is going high to low. Okay, I have 0.69 Rn. When my output is going low to high, I have Rp involved. The reason to go is that when the input switch is low to high, it's different from this. Directly implies that the output switch is high to low. Okay, so just read the given properly. I know that I'm going to fill this the Rn, not the Rp. Okay, so. هلا the overall delay the overall delay is really half TP high to low plus half TP low to high. Okay, so who will average that? يعني هون عطاني size a CMOS inverter to achieve the following specs. هلا sizing حنشتغل فيه بعد little bit advanced later. But is there an issue with the audio? Okay, okay. So the Uh, for the CMOS inverter, we first ask that it drives a load of 50 femtofarad. And C is 50 femto. And using 0.13 micrometer technology, and here the RAQN is 12.5, our R square is what we call R square is 30 kilo ohm. Okay. وعطاني ال L minimum 0.1, and he's telling me I'm operating at VDD 1.2 volts, and Asking me to size it so that TP high to low equals TP low to high, and they are around 50 picosecond. So the moment he gives me TP high to low, I know that TP high to low is I'm given it is 50 picosecond. So I know that this is going to be equal to 0.69 times R n. Times C, and the R n will pull the output from high to low. Okay, so I can find the R n value, and the R n value will be 50 pico, على 0.69, على 50 from. Hello, I have R n. I need to know the sizing. كيف بدي تطلع sizing لل transistor? طيب ما هي R n for me is equal to R square times L over W لل n mos, right? So this is equal to twelve point five. 
times L over W لكانا which is equal to 50 pico على 0.69 times 50 from 2 farads. Okay. Now given that L is 0.1 micron, okay, I can then solve for W. Then he gave me that L is 0.1 micron. طبعا ما تكون تنتبهوا للunits. I can find W for the n moles divided. Okay. حدا عنده سؤال. Anybody has any question? Okay. طب. Okay. طب. Let us now look how he solves for the whole full quantities and follow up with the also the size of the PMOS. So TP high to low equal 0.69 RC. Therefore, from this, he finds that Rn, by relying on the equation, he finds that Rn equal 1.4K. But we know that Rn is Reqn times L over W. And so he can find the uh, W by L ratio. طلع ratio. Okay. From the ratio, he can then solve for the width of the device. Mail L point one. بقدر طلع إذا حسبت الألمين بقدر طلع W. In a similar fashion, for the TP low to high, the output going from low to high, RP will be active. So I can find RP. هون سأب طلع the same. So I can find W by LP. Okay, using the same equation. And then I can set Ln equal N min and Lp equal N min and then I can solve for Wn and I can solve for Wp. فإذا نحن نستعمل two equations. أول واحدة إنه Tp delay 0.69 Rc والتاني إنه R is related to the sizing by Requn or Requp. Anybody has any questions about this problem? Okay. Great. Hello. Uh, now another example. We want to size a CMOS inverter so that it has a symmetric low to high and high to low propagation delay when driving the same load. And we want to use 0.13 micrometer process يعني اللي عنده at this voltage لأنه هاي اللي بحدد لي REQN and REQP. So to say that TP high to low equal TP low to high we're going to simply use the equation that this is 0.69 RNC is equal to 0.69 RPC. They are driving the same load. So I can cancel the load from both sides. I know that Rn equal to RP. But Rn, and I know that it's equal to 12.5K times L over Wn is equal to 30K times L over Wp. Okay, so now I can find the WP if I use the same L. Okay, then I can set that WP over WN is equal to 30K over 12.5K. Okay, so we now know how to solve for the symmetric inverter and the next propagation delay. Okay, time grade. So let us now see how it was solved in the slides. And in the slides, uh, we get to find out that uh, by setting this to be equal, this will be equal, and therefore this will be equal, and therefore the ratio. If you notice, إذا عنده نفس ال L, okay, that we size the PMOS roughly 2.4 times the size of the NMOS. Yani that unusually WP is greater than WN and WP for this technology here is around 2.4 WN is at the same L, which is minimum size at two devices. So, to be symmetric, okay? So from here on, we will assume the ratio to be 2 for simplicity and we will refer to it as the 2 to 1 inverter. يعني أنا حقول إنه أنا if I have a PMOS and an NMOS, if I want to size it, I will call it 2 to 1. What do I mean by 2 to 1? يعني إذا size لل W 1 micron لل N, W for P will be 2 micron. 
and this we call it two to one inverter. Okay, so this is approximately a two to one inverter. Hello. So for symmetric Lacan like and WP equal twice WN, and this is two to one inverter. Hello, sort if I want to size the inverter. What do I do the transistors height at times one? If I want to size it times two, what do I do with it? I multiply the pull up and the pull down by the same ratio is the height times S, height it will be two S, height it will be one S. Okay, so later, later when we study a chain of inverters, okay, when we study a chain of inverters, is a gina and minimum size W. Let us look at it this way. If I tell you that a minimum for the minimum sized inverter, for the minimum size two to one inverter, for the minimum size two to one inverter, okay, and W N can one micron. Okay, so automatically, and I know how to set this to be towards the end as two micron, Heidi one micron, Heidi had cone two darab W, yeah, and he two micron, Heidi had cone four times W, and he four micron. Okay, for example, if I have the minimum sized inverter, uh, two to one inverter and W and one micron, I can relate everything with respect to it. Okay, so what we have mentioned in that uh, the two to one, if I size it, it will become four to two. Okay, so, great. Anybody has any questions? Okay, so Hannah, let us now look at the capacitance of the inverter and then start to relate them in a new way. So let us uh, see how what are the capacitors which we have studied. The capacitors, delay. If I want to calculate it, if I have an inverter, we know that. Um, if I have the W by R ratios, but then R for Rn, but if the delay here, he 0.5 times Tp high to low plus Tp low to high. And I know that this is 0.69 times Rn times C plus 0.69 times Rp times C. Okay, type this, and I need to know C, and also look, he started to approximate it as 0 0.7. 0.69. Yeah, and Heidi, if I want to approximately, since they share the same load, how can I calculate the delay? 0 0.35 times Rn plus Rp times C load. Hey, fin hatta 0.5. Hmm. Fin tali al constant labarra hat sir 0.5 dar 0.69. Fini tkhali resistors ma'a ma'adun Rn plus Rp times C load, right? Type great. Type for the symmetric inverter, shu indi ana? For the symmetric inverter, I'm designing it so that Rn equal Rp equal to some R effective value, right? Shu bisir delay sa'ata Tp is equal to 0.69. The point five, the Rn plus Rp, the Rp C load. So how do you get Rn plus Rp? The Rp half. The average. When we say we are effective, so how to tell? Are effective. So if I'm in the Tp, why the? I mean delay, propagation delay. We must not Tp must or N must. The propagation delay Tpd is really. 0.69 with symmetric inverter pull up or pull down and the next resistance that of our direct sealed. Okay, so on Hala Amir Jai Fergini and the equation how I can write it in different forms, but he's really telling me that I need to know what my C load is. Okay, so Khalil and Shof what my C load is in the inverter. نحن اتفقنا إنه السيلود حيكون my own capacitance 
Okay, my C load is my own self capacitance at this node plus any output capacitance from the wire or from the next stage. وطبعاً أنا عندي my input capacitance which the previous stage sees. هلا هون بس ما تتخلطوا بشغلة. من الطريقة اللي رسمينا عم يحطوا الكاباسيتنس أوتسايد ذا ترانزستور يعني هيدي هي السي دي ضرب دبليو إن بلس دبليو بي والسي أوت هي للفان أوت أوكي ورسمنا السي جي اللي هو ماي سيلف كاباسيتنس أوكي هلا ذا توتال لود كاباسيتنس سين باي ماي سيلف إز سيلف بلس واير بلس فان أوت Okay, who is Jamal? We know this from before. We're just reviewing it. Why the fan out? فعليا هو إذا أنا عندي ثلاثة inverters هو جمع C G لا أنا. Okay. طيب. The self with diffusion capacitance, and so we're going to set it as C D times W N C D technology parameter times W N plus W P مثل ما درسناها قبل. And then The fan out capacitance هو حيكون بيساوي ال gate ضرب عدده يعني هون عندي n ضرب اللي هن ثلاثة بهالحالة، okay يعني هو حيكون some technology parameter for each CG ضرب WN plus WP لهود transistors، okay so كل واحدة من هون عندها some WN و some WP and we're going to have multiply this by WM plus WP ضرب CG technology ومثلا عادة CG tech is two from two third per micrometer in point thirteen micro technology. هلا لكن على هالحالة C load هو C wire plus CD ضرب WN driver plus WP driver plus CG ضرب WN load plus WP load ضرب طبعا عدده يعني number of fan out صح أو هذه هي summation بتكون ساعتها. Okay for all the fan out devices. Great. So we have here assume a two WN and WP for the out man هون اللي لقى السلف يعني يمين يمين the self or the second stage. Can you tell me, my, can you chat, man? Why did we care and WN and WP for the output, for the next stage, Jan? Aren't we just connected to the gate? Yes, we are connected to the gate. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. But you're talking about this, uh, you're talking about this, right? Okay. So why did we connect the, uh, why did we care about the capacitance? For this, let us look at the devices. Okay. Yeah, here some more. So here we have uh, my inverter or my transistor. Now we said that my transistor really has. Two capacitors, three capacitors, and all gate capacitor, and source to ground capacitor, and drain. As I had the PMOS, yeah, and often out of sorry, let me assume that let me with three draw. Okay, so this is my inverter, it has a P device. And it has an N device, okay? This is the N device, okay? Can we have the devices and its own capacitors? And PMOS and the capacitor between this node and the ground, a capacitor between this node and the ground, and the capacitor here between this node and the ground, right? And then the N MOS, it has another capacitor. Which uh, sits between this node and the ground at diffusion capacitance, this between this node and the ground, and this between this node and the ground. Agreed? Okay, now this is the common node. 
And this is the previous stage, which I want to calculate the delay from here to here, right? And it's a driving this uh, circuit that has these capacitors, okay? So in this condition, okay, under this case, when the signal is transitioning, okay, when the signal is transitioning, if the output is going from low to high, what is happening for the voltages at the gate of the transistors? Are they going to be charged when the output charges? Is there a reason why there will not be in this, if I call the CG1 and I call the CG2, uh, will they have a DV CG2 by DT? Let me make it a big G. And will they have a DV CG1 by DT? Yes. So, I can feel current. Actually, if I have a transistor, to be able to turn it on, who will output of the previous, صح? is the input of the second one. And I need to switch the gate for this one for it then to evaluate the next function that it wants to implement, right? What we, uh, what I don't want you to, uh, no current, انتبه معن. One second, please be careful. Where is the no current? Where is the no current? Into the transistor. يعني أنا إذا بدي أرجع أرسم لك ال pi model لهيدا. If I want to go back to the pi model, okay. هيدا transistor شكله هيك. صح؟ في capacitor. Okay. وفي voltage dependent current source اللي هو function of VGS. صح عنده drain capacitance or drain to source capacitance or whatever you want to call it وحتى عنده هو gate to drain capacitor بس نحنا ما عم ندرسه صح okay so if I ignore for now the moment the gate to drain capacitor okay all I'm trying to say in this is that this has R infinity okay so through the gate if I have some driver resistance coming from the previous RN that has its own capacitor or C wire and its own capacitor and is connected with a Hayden node is grounded and I have a CGS too. Okay, but here are my hat is have current. Yani when I reach a steady state, DVC by DT Hayden are zero. ايه ساعتها البرانش عندي هون ما حيسحب كارنت لانه عنده ار انفينيتي اوكي سو بليز بي فيري كيرفول اباوت ذس يس ان ستدي ستيت ان دي سي ذا جيت كارنت از زيرو لانه عندي ار انفينيتي يعني على قلب الجيت ما عندي كارنت انتو ذا جيت اي دونت هاف انتو ذا جيت اي دونت هاف ا كارنت and ideally speaking, except for coupling, the gate current does not flow into the channel. The transistor اللي بيصير فيه إنه أنا عندي the gate with drain with source, عندي some coupling from here, but it is weak. The main current يلي بدو يقطع هو عكس the coupling حيكون يلي بدو يعمل discharge the coupling بيكون عم يطلع طلوع. الجيت بتكون عم تعلى وهيدي بتكون عم تدور لتشد الاوتبوت هيدا الكارنت اللي هو اي دي اس ما فيه اي جي كومبوننت والجيت ما بتبعت له كارنت وهيدي الاي جي ايكول زيرو لانه هون عندي انسوليتر بس انا بين هيدي النود وجراوند عندي كاباسيتر اوكي and this capacitor is going to charge to change the voltage of the gate so that it can turn on or off the channel is this clear? Anybody has any questions?
that I'm assuming this is clear now, right? Okay. I'm not sure if it's switch. <laughs> okay. So, uh, do I have a current through the capacitor? Yes. The capacitor is going to charge, but it will not. It will not. This current is not going to flow into the channel. This current is not going to go into the transistor. يعني هيدا is a dependent voltage source on VGS. بس ما في UIGS. هيدا تعتمد على الفولتج من هون لهون. بس ما بتاخد current منها. Okay. هيدا is a controlled current source. Okay. So, لكن هاي كاباستر على الجيت بدو ينعمل charging و discharging ليدور الديفايس ولا كيف بدو ينقل له voltage كيف بدي انقل voltage من جيت لجيت اوكي فاذا اوكي great so now لكن هلا we're gonna look here and so as we said um, we have the sum of the capacitors we then we are loaded by my self capacitance, my wire capacitance, and the next stage capacitance. Well, I hear he's going giving me a problem where he's telling me that I have a two to one CMOS inverter that is driving four other. Heidi, I'm going to one, and he was sized in the minimum size. We summate two to one, and I kill one and two V1. Okay. So I have a two-to-one inverter, four identical copies, identical, I mean, times one, times one, times one, along with an interconnect whose capacitance is 10 femtofarad. So I have a 10 femtofarad. Determine the output load capacitance seen by the driver at the output node. I mean, this is the driver. Okay? In terms of W. In terms of W, I mean, I'm going to say that W is one derivative. Okay, and hi, I'll two W by one W. Okay, so he told me that this is two W, pardon me, this is two W by one uh, W. Okay, so hello, let me, uh, I'm going to write it myself and on the slides one and PowerPoint. So great, so I'm going to see the old, like, who we see wire who turn from two. Okay, plus, hey, the here and the هوني 2W and 1W so هون عندي CD قال لي دغري 1 فهمته ضرب 2W plus 1W اوكي على هاي النود مبينة plus عندي 4 copies identical so هاي دي 4 ضرب CG ضرب كل واحدة من هون عندها 2W 1W من هون أنا بشوف ال gate capacitance. I don't see anything that has to do with the channel. So four درب لأنهم identical copies. وكل copy عنده C G درب two W plus one W. Okay. Okay, great. طب. So let me now لكنا check this solution here. And we move on now to the next. So the C load is C wire uh, plus C wire plus C detect times WN plus WP plus for uh, summation of CG WN plus WP. And he ends up as C load plus, um, which is equal, pardon me, 10 less C wire. Plus C D tech darib W plus two W plus four darib C G tech darib W plus two W and he continues on to find out that it is ten plus twenty seven W femtofarads. Okay. Anybody has any questions? Clear. Okay. Hala hon and nahki and sizing the transistors of the uh, CMOS inverter. How can I size the transistor to optimize the delay? And I want to write the equation of the delay to be as function of W. Is an alt and it is a symmetric inverter? Okay, I don't know what I'm saying, but I'm going to show you how to do it. 
0.69 times Rn, which is function of W, that is zero. Okay, well, Rn, the function of W, will be C fan out to C wire or C cell. Okay, hala high complex equation, I'm going to split it. I don't want to worry about it, but I want to worry about the trend. What we find is that to reduce the delay, ya ba dizagher lo load, ya ba dikabber lo W wire. Hala. By load, I mean the external load and the internal load. And hala anam shuf al internal load, iza kent bas ana I'm driving it, ma haifra ma haid delay kteer. Increasing W by L, إذا كبرت W by L, شو بيصير في عندي؟ بيصير عندي CD ضرب W plus 2W عم تكبر. So this is not a very good idea. وترن typically that delay مع ال VDD it drops quickly بس هالشي شو بيعملنا؟ بيكبرنا the power will energy dissipated in the circuit. يعني increasing VDD can affect the power or the energy dissipated in the circuit. Let us look like an athletic criteria. I can reduce the load by reducing maybe the number of gates I am driving. يعني بدل ما I'm driving the four, I drive the three. لهيك مثلاً لما بيعملوا library بيسموها fan out of four. يعني هيدي ما لازم تعمل لودنج لأكتر من أربعة. Increasing the W by L ratio. Okay. We need to be careful. It is effective, but I need to be careful about my self-loading. لأن الانترنس إذا الانترنس كاباسيتنس كبير بالنسبة للاكسترنال لود. I have to be concerned. لأن هو كان C self plus C wire plus C fan out delay. صح؟ Increasing VDD, we see a trade off between energy and performance. Okay, and of course there are reliability concerns. As I have talked about VDD, it is possible that devices start to heat and other considerations. Okay, so hello. For the same ratio for the symmetric inverter, okay, WP and WN around two. Okay, so let us see here. Okay. So here I'm given that WP equals 1 micron and WN equals 0.5 and WP equals 2 micron and WN equals 1. Only Anna, I preserve the W by WN, WP by WN ratio. Okay. But um, I want to see how that. Uh, how this might affect my delay. Yani, and I have an inverter, which is times one, where I have initially, مثلاً, هذه هي two to one, and I'm telling you that the two to one, هي مثلاً بلشنا فيها one micron and point five micron. Now I want to size it by s. So شو بيصير sizing هيدا إذا كبرتا by s? If I tell you that this inverter is the times S inverter. Should we see the size of this one? The P will turn to PS. So it will be S times 1 micron. And the N will turn to PS. So it will be S times 0.5 micron. Okay, so what we are starting to say here is that we are setting the standard and then I will always keep the symmetric ratio, but when I size, I will size the P and the N by the same factor. Okay, so I'm maintaining the symmetric inverter ratio, I can guarantee that always بما أن ال propagation delay هو T P high to low plus T P low to high over two and it is symmetric and I know that T P high to low equal T P low to high يعني ال propagation delay هو بيساوي T P high to low هو بيساوي T P low to okay ونحن we will try to size the devices to maintain this property or this criteria okay that now, since I know that the delays are equal and I always have the same load, then what do I know about the resistors Rn equal Rp equal to some effective 
resistance. Okay, five grade. So high that times one, high that times s. Great. So now I can write for a given inverter. Okay, بما أنه أنا حسمت إنه R n T p بتساوي T p low to high بتساوي T p high to low. وال R n بيساوي R p بيساوي R effective. يعني أنا فيني أقول إنه delay هو 0.69 ضرب R effective ضرب C self اللي أنا حطلعها من C D ضرب W n plus W p plus C external whatever is external to me coming from wires or other transistors. Okay. هعمل شغلة بعد حطلع C self لبرا. So I'm going to write the delay but I'm going to do 0.69 ضرب R effective. ضرب C self plus C external رح أقول خليه يكون type 0.69 ضرب R effective ضرب C self ضرب 1 plus C external على C self What is this telling me now? It is telling me أنا إذا C external is 0 صح؟ الدلي حيكون بساوي الدلي زيرو يلي هو 0.69 ضرب ماي ار افكتف ضرب سي سلف هيدي حسميها تي بي زيرو يعني اذا انا انلودد اوكي الدلي لالي حيكون هالقد ان حطيتو لي لود الدلي حيكون 1 بلس سي اكسترنال على سي سلف قديش السي اكسترنال بالنسبه لالي ات ويل اد اون توب اوف ماي تي بي زيرو Great. So, like, now, we're going to write the delay as T P zero and one plus C external on C cell. Okay. So, let us now duplicate this slide and see how we can continue. Okay. So now, had to write the delay as point sixty nine C R effective C cell. So, I'm going to write T P zero. Okay. And then. This is the intrinsic unloaded delay of the gate when C external is zero. لكن أنا هلا هات لنشوف إذا أنا I have an inverter which is size two to one. Its delay is T P zero, okay? And T P is the delay when I have an external load added to my inverter. Now assume that we scale. Our inverter by a factor of s. What happens to its delay? And as I I had a a size one inverter, and now if I scale the inverter by s, is هيدا عنده r effective. هيدا r effective لإله شو حتكون؟ كبرت له devices by s. شو بده يصير بال r scale؟ حتصير r effective over s. لأنه W لل two devices increased by S صح يعني ال pull up وال pull down مفروض هن symmetric عندهم نفس ال R effect. طيب the same question I have now for this inverter اللي هو times S وهيدا اللي كان هو times one إذا هيدا عنده C self ال times S what is it C self كبر ال devices by s شو يصير بال c cell c d times s times w n plus w p right so the c cell is going to be equal to c cell times s great هيك عم شوف هاد two quantities for this inverter okay my t p zero هي point sixty nine ضرب r effective ضرب c cell what about for this inverter? What is my TP0? Should we see the S will S? They will cancel out. So is that the intrinsic delay of the inverter when I size it, it does not change. I will not gain anything. Okay? I will not gain anything. What I gain is I gain when I am driving an external load. Oh, this is why. لأن عندي C external على C self. We'll see it next time. This is why when I have a chain of inverters, I need to optimize for the delay. Okay, so I need to optimize for the delay. طيب, anybody has any questions? Yes. 